Go. Okay. So this is our 17-inch infotainment system that's included standard with every vehicle, or every Model S vehicle. Um, I'll show you some of the features that we have on here. This is all designed, the hardware and the software is designed by Tesla in-house from the ground up. So this is our media player. You have your normal radio selection, FM, AM, or Sirius satellite radio. We also have internet radio stations. So if you want to listen to TuneIn or Slacker, for example, you can do that. Um, we have a navigation system. It's shown down here. So I'll swap windows so you can see it up here. This is Google Maps, and you can see that it recognizes we're currently at the convention center. It's a multi-touch touchscreen, so you can zoom in and zoom out. And it's a slightly older version of our software and hardware, which will be much improved at production. Energy consumption of the vehicle and energy consumption of the HVAC power, motor power, motor regen. Full web browser. We also have a backup camera. It's connected? Uh, no, not in this not in this car, but it is is connected, will be connected. And eventually we're going to open it up to app developers to develop their own functionality on the screen. We also have a lot of the vehicle controls on the touch screen. So as you can see, the only hard buttons are the uh, hazard switch, the glove box, and your seat controls. Everything else, the doors and the locks, the trunks, are all controlled by the touch screen. The lights are controlled by the touch screen, interior and exterior. The sunroof, it's a panoramic sunroof and is retractable also by the touchscreen. So let's say you want exactly 54%, you can control that. The display brightness can also be controlled and notice that the two displays dim together to maintain consistency. Um, we also have voice recognition, which we're not demoing today, but it's, it's uh, all fully functional. And then persistent controls at the bottom of the touchscreen. So you've got your climate controls, your volume. So you always have that, no matter what's in your window. You can, as I showed before, you can rearrange windows. So if I want my web browser down here, my media, and drive like this, I can configure it like this. We also have some of the information on the instrument cluster as well. So you can see the energy usage over the past 30 miles. There's a graph of that. There's your battery charge and your range. There's also the uh, music that we're listening to right now. You can control this using the steering wheel controls as well, so you don't have to always use the touch screen. But that's a basic overview. Um, it's 3G connected, so it's always connected. Thank you. You're welcome.